Saving a page in LiveTiles Design is just as easy as a Word document. Up here on the top right, you'll see the Save As button. When you click Save As, you have the option to either save as a page or save as a template. If you save as a template, your work will be saved as a template which can be used by other pages and users. However, the page itself will not be saved. If you save as a page, then this will save the page itself. When you click on save as a page, you need to give it a file name and a save location. In this case, I've already used the file name as test case. To set the location, open the Choose Your Asset Picker. This is the asset library which displays your overall site architecture. You want to save your page in the desired subsite. In this example, we're going to navigate to LiveTiles Design and then Site Pages. Now you can see that the location box has been filled. Click OK and this notification confirms that you're about to override a page that you've saved previously. Success! Now you have three options. You can keep designing in the current page, navigate to the save page in end user view, or go back to your home page. Let's go to our page. To continue working here, simply click design view and you're right back in the design canvas. Now, as you continue creating your design for this page, you can simply hit the save button instead of going through the full save as process again. You can see here that I simply add this circle title to my page and head up to the save button without needing to interrupt my work. And that's how you save a page 